News Army. An Israeli businessman's corruption conviction in Switzerland is being appealed. In a case connected to his company's attempt to exploit vast iron ore deposits in the West African nation of Guinea, Israeli diamond billionaire Benny Steinmetz returns to a Geneva tribunal on Monday to appeal his conviction on allegations of influencing foreign public officials and fabricating papers. The man regarded by some to be Israel's wealthiest man was condemned to five years in jail and told to pay a 50 million Swiss franc, $51.5 million, punishment in the lower court's verdict in January 2021. Two other defendants got lighter penalties. This case exposes the murky and intricate world of deal-making and intense rivalry in the lucrative mining sector, focusing on alleged transfers of millions of dollars to a former wife of the late Guinean president Lansana Conti. Predictions suggest the appeal will continue. Steinmetz will be without high-profile Geneva lawyer Mark Bonnet, who is no longer defending the tycoon. Before, the lawyer claimed that Steinmetz had not donated any money to the Conti dictatorship in Guinea. Supporters of the Israeli tycoon maintained that the lower court did not have all of the information and that the court just intended to send a message that Switzerland, which has a reputation for conducting covert financial operations, can hold financial kingpins accountable when required. Swiss transparency organization Public Eye praised the judgment as a landmark judgment that proved the court could see through a slick legal argument. Steinmetz, now 66 years old, has disputed the allegations against him and is free while his appeal is processed. The Geneva prosecutor's office stated that Steinmetz, a former resident of Geneva, and the two other defendants participated in the corruption of foreign officials and the fabrication of papers to disguise the payment of bribes from authorities and banks. Some money reportedly moved via Switzerland and management in Europe, Africa, and the United States are all looking into the issue. The scheme dated back to the middle of the 2000s and featured Steinmetz's BSGR group pushing out competition for mining rights to massive iron ore resources in Guinea's southern Samandu area. The prosecutor's office claimed that beginning in 2005, Steinmetz conspired to corruptly divide up roughly $10 million with Conti, who governed the West African nation from 1984 until he died in 2008, and his fourth wife, Mamadi Touré. She has collaborated with prosecutors in the United States regarding the case. In its court brief, the prosecutor's office stated BSGR gained exploration and exploitation licenses in Guinea between 2006 and 2010 in the Samandu area, while its rival big Anglo-Australian mining corporation Rio Tinto was deprived of mining rights on two sites that it previously owned in the region. According to Steinmetz's legal team, a nearby mountain range has some of the world's most incredible undeveloped quantities of iron ore, which might have been a boon for the economically struggling nation if the conflict had not broken out. They believe BSGR was the first business to explore the viability of mining iron ore in the region.